And, uh, who wrote that, and uh, of course Paul Shear and Matt Nicole Brown, who uh, we cannot wait for community this year. Emily, it was good to see you in that clip. Um, I want to ask you about playing Lacey this past season, the Dark Bell. Yeah, I kind of miss her. She was a lot of fun. It was um, almost for a few episodes there playing three characters, you know, Flashback Bell, Storybook Bell, and then Storybook Lacey. But yeah, she was she was uh, kind of feisty. <laughs> she came straight out of a White Snake video. <laughs> Well, Probably one of her favorite albums. <laughs> give, give us a sense of what so we can hope for with Belle in Storybrooks when she's uh, holding down the fort. What? Belle for mayor. Yeah, I guess there's a hashtag <laughs> Belle for mayor, so I don't know. We'll see. Calm troll. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're just starting out, so I guess we'll have to see. Mm. But um, some exciting stuff. Belle for mayor? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Someone dies. <laughs> so, hey Adam, what's, uh, what's in store for Bell? What well, you... there's a lot in store for Bell, and uh, you know, it's uh, what's happening back in Storybrook and what's happening in Everland. I think uh, we're going to find, hopefully, connected in a in a surprising way. But you know, for us, of course, we remember. Uh, Mr. Gold um, is on a suicide mission in Neverland because the prophecy said that to uh, save Henry, he is going to have to die. And that is why he wanted to go face his death alone. So the question I'm wondering is, will these two ever be reunited? Mm. Will they find their happy ending? Well, there was a... There was, well, if they don't, I'm sure I won't hear anything from the Twitter universe. <laughs> I've never seen anything called Rum Bell or had it um, flood my inbox. <laughs> it's, it's so I would, yeah, I would, I, you know, who knows? There was, there was a Twitter question I got this week from um, somebody named Jewel Sci-Fi, and she wanted to ask uh, Emily, how do you think Bell would react uh, if she found out that she had a little gold bun in the oven? Well, yeah. Daddy's off in Neverland. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Confusion and, and being a little scared of knowing because what would it be if it if it was in fact a bellish child or a, a dark child or it could be half and half and you wouldn't know. It could be, it could be sort of like a bipolar kid. Yeah. yeah, it could be interesting. That's not bad. I've always wanted a brother or sister. <laughs> it could be twins. You could have one good and one evil, sort of like. Well. Lana, we had a lot of fun last year when you recited a line, uh, a classic line from, from your show, and some of the Twitter fans actually came up with some of their favorite lines for, for just a few of you that uh, we were hoping you might recite. Um, so, I want to ask first, Robert, if you would uh, give us a deary. <laughs> Let's hear a deary. All right, deary. <laughs> I'm just going to pass out these cards to four of you. I'll be right back. This was hard enough the first time around. <laughs> Why don't you kick it off? <clears throat> Maybe I don't need answers. Maybe I just need to punch you in the face. <laughs> Really, Jerry? <laughs> Lonnie, you want to do your um, too? You go. And then I'll... You wanted to see your queen? Well, my dears, here she is. <laughs> Why isn't this working? <laughs> and the second line is... <laughs> <laughs> the queen is dead. Long live the evil queen. Emily. Okay, number one. It's my, it's my chip cup. And these are all so sad. <laughs> Don't you see? That's exactly why I have to stay. And lastly, um, 
Colin, this was my favorite line of last season, if you wouldn't mind. When I jab you with my sword, you'll feel it. except for writing uh, two women who both love Henry and want what's best for him, and one who is the daughter of Snow White and Prince Charming, and the woman who cursed her uh, and made her grow up without parents. Okay, well said. Dorothy and Mr. Gold, how cool! Your bell, your bell, your bell. Lana, Jenny, Jenny, and Josh, <laughs> which is just fun to say. Uh, I'm actually friends with Eduardo Castro. Oh, yay! That's our costume designer. <laughs> Eduardo is the man who makes all these costumes, and this week was nominated for an Emmy. I'm in love with him. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, in December of this past year, he actually came to the five of you and asked you to autograph pictures addressed to someone named Tammy. Uh, that was my mother, and it was her Christmas present, and it's the only thing I've ever been able to give to her that represented something that we have both bonded over. Aww. And I wanted to personally, I came here from Colorado, and I wanted to personally thank you for taking the time to do that. Of course. Because it meant so much to me. Take you to do your makeup. I just wanted to ask that. It was right. about 45 minutes. Wow. I have it was worth it. Nick on my face. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I, I can't give you anything today, but Eduardo, I'm mailing you guys thank you cards through him. Oh, thank so. you. Well, thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. You got a great day. And I have a question for Robert, Emily, and Michael. Um, uh, we saw a lot of complexity come out of Rumpelstiltskin and Mr. Gold this season, and my question is, is there anything that Rumpelstiltskin could do that Belle and Balefire wouldn't forgive? Hmm. 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 Uh, I think there are a lot of things that, that, that Rumpelstiltskin could do that people wouldn't forgive. Um, <laughs> I am very forgiving now. You are. Skin travel to the different dimensions on its uh, on its uh, 
on his own, or does he need the Mad Hatter to do that? Uh, he needs a portal, so the Mad Hatter has a portal. Um, magic beans are portals. Sometimes a looking glass can be a portal to Wonderland. So on his own, he actually can't travel between worlds. He still needs a portal. Even the dark one needs uh, transportation. <laughs> a compass because I carried that compass for a long time last year. And a passport. <laughs> and, and their Delta Miles card when they went to New York. Uh, uh, Hi, my name is Ariel. Oh! Yeah, these fans of the I was curious as to um, what characteristics do you think you share with your characters? And I love all of you. Beautiful, wonderful people. <laughs> Thank you. Josh, Kenny, you want to take that? Uh, optimism. I can be a bit selfish, and I can see that in the snow. Yeah. Impulsivity. Is that a word, writers? It is now. It is now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good word. Keep I think Charmy can be impulsive sometimes. He can he can let things kind of run run wild in him, and he can kind of... Uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of that. You use the word she just invented, impulsivity. Impulsivity. Yeah, that's what impulsivity. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I share, impulsivity. <laughs> you know, there was a moment last season, a long moment when we two were separated. Is it ever, is it possible that this, the Charmings could ever break up, even momentarily? Ah, oh, I would, I mean, that is the loss of all hope, wouldn't it? It's so sad. We all I don't even want to hear that. thinking about that. <laughs> I won't stop trying. <laughs> My name is Olivia, you guys are all great, and I was wondering, out of both the worlds, The Enchanted Forest and Storybrooke, which one do you think your character belongs in? Oh, great question. Yeah. Storybrooke. Uh, Bobby. Bobby, it's the Burbank. I, I think, uh, <laughs> I think fairy tale. Uh, I think, I don't know, but I think most of them are trying to get back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fairy tale, for sure. Yeah. 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 And, and Michael, you uh, you ended up in a precarious situation with uh, Mulan and Aurora, the Prince uh, Philip. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How did you feel about that when you when you read that? Did you think you were going to die first of all? Did you think you were a goner? No. <laughs> we do. We do. To be uh, fair, we called him and said, "You're going to read tomorrow a script that says you're dying. You're not dying." That's that's kind of what gave it away. <laughs> It ruined it. It ruined, yeah. Spoiler alert. Um, I, it, it was I, I, it was a very fortuitous situation I found myself in. I mean, you know, I could have been, I could have landed anywhere. Um, there's a reason I landed where I did land, which we'll sort of discover later. But, um, but to just sort of be found by people who were clearly willing to help, pretty great stroke of luck. Yeah. Well, there are shippers out there who are already matching up with Mulan. Uh, Watch is, that it. A, is that a possibility? Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, my baby's daddy you're talking about. <laughs> what is the name of that ship? Yeah, what, oh gosh. I have a name of it. Name Bane Bay, Bane. Well, we're swamp and there's one fire, but the, Mulan the, and what, what's the Mulan one? Balon? Ninja Fire? Ninja Fire? Ninja Fire? Warrior Fire. The Warrior Fire. I don't know. Balon, that'd be good. Is that a couple we're considering? Sounds dangerous. Balon. Well, you know, Balon? I think, uh, is it a couple we're considering? I think, you know, the last thing I saw Neil do was look up at the woman he's loved for 10 years and say, I love you too. And right now, I mean, I can't imagine he doesn't want to get back to her and his son. Unfortunately for him, she's with um, Captain Hook. And that's true, but uh, you know, Neil. Debate that. Neil's Neil's going <laughs> to attempt at least to move heaven and hell, and if there's a captain in the way as well, then so be it. We, we can find it out right now, everyone. <laughs> Colin, your hook. Colin and Jennifer, how do you feel about a possible romance between between Emma and Hook? I know we just shared a drink recently, so. Yeah. You what? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I think I said it before, maybe it's, you know, could be time for Hook to sort of get over his thing with uh, Mila. 
and stuff. And who knows? It's only been a couple hundred years. It's only been that long, so. Now with my daughter. Mm. <laughs> we'd hope it could be with everybody's daughter, you never know. <laughs> we have time for one more question. All right. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. My name is Lily, and I want to know if we will find out what mermaid was Regina so interested about that she went to to Rumpel Stillskin. No, mm, that's, that's a great interesting question. question. I know, uh, you know, anything can happen in Neverland. Yeah. Watch season three. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good way to, to conclude this. Yeah. Uh, yes, um, and uh, thank you everyone. We appreciate you. your support. Yeah. Thank you. We are excited to have you with us. Everybody on the stage loves the fans of this show. We love you. Hang out for a second. Hang out for a second. There's a little, little tease coming. Yeah.